don't laugh. Just don't laugh! <coughs> Corby and the Forgotten Lands is the best, and I mean the best, anime of the year. It's just the best. Yes, I played the entire game. The entire game! Twice. Yeah! Dragon Ball has been awfully quiet since the release of this game. Just, just look at him! Look at him! That, that's Majin Buu! I have never played a Kirby game in my entire life. So going into this, I was like, eh, eh, eh. It just didn't interest me. It just didn't hook me in. It looked like a baby game. But goddamn. Goddamn! <laughs> was I wrong? I have never played anything more innocent and lovely and cute and innocent, but at the same time dark and emotional and, and inspirational and just basically anime as shit. Corby can suck anything in. Like he like he can just suck anything. You can be a vending machine, you can be a cone, you can be a tie, you can be a pair of stairs! Like, like stairs! Who thinks of this shit? Who what like stairs? This is how Corby beats Goku in a fight. Like he he just has to suck him. Th that's it! As babyish this game me look, goddamn this was Elden Ring all over again. You have boss fights which are obviously easy but a new game plus can kick your ass if you're not prepared. To a normal sane person this just looks like Kirby versus a giant monkey. But to us weebs this is actually Majin Buu versus Goku's great ape form. You can get different abilities for Kirby's after you suck people off. My favourites would have to be the bombing one, the shooting one and the fire one. Look! Look! They even have to use the Wargo! And the music! Oh god! The music! The music in this game is just... Oh, I'm sorry, I, I have to let the emotions out. You guys know me, I'm a music kind of guy, and when I play a game, the music has to be high class, and Kirby's soundtrack just slaps! Look at the emotions I am showing over Kirby! Kirby! Okay, now I'm gonna spoil the story, you've been warned. And three, two, one. Kirby basically has to save all the waddle deeds, which is, which is a fancy way to say shit, because, because they look like shits to me, like, like this, this comes out of my ass. He meets this blue flying magical rabbit who then becomes his loyal psychic. They create this special, this special, adorable bond that just makes me go. <laughs> but then later on, the blue magical rabbit gets captured, and Kirby's like, NANDATO! NANDATO JABA! I'm sorry, the anime's coming out of me. He then ends up in a lab and they start uh, explaining the ultimate life form, which is just like the Genova project from Final Fantasy VII. And lo and behold, there's a giant lion defending it, who also starts explaining the lore, like, like this isn't the full power. This is, this is like Cell before its perfection. Because of course, the ultimate life form needs to absorb the magical rabbit. You find the lion, you save the rabbit, then you get chased by the ultimate life form. The rabbit gets absorbed just like Gohan, and then Kobe's like, Kirby then must save his friend! He will stop at nothing! And I mean nothing! He must save him! I'm getting emotional. I'm getting emotional because the character development, the character development of these two beautiful, adorable beings is just... Oh, oh God, my heart. You then have to fight the full power! And I mean full power! Ultimate life on who is this now? Who is now this evil, demonic-looking, legendary Pokemon while the universe is falling apart because he's doing some dimension space shit! And then for some reason the music in the background just goes so hard and epic! <laughs> Finally beat the boss, and then he's like, this is your planet, isn't it? I'm gonna destroy it! So Corby's like, shit! Shit! What do we do? A truck happens to appear, Corby sucks it, transforms into a truck, and goes like, <laughs> And then the Pokemon's like, oh no, you didn't! And just starts struck in spaceship from dimensions, like his full power, Sephiroth! And then you gotta do this quick time event, dodge all that shit! Corby leaves in the air like he's LeBron James! It's over, bitch! You can't stop us! The Pokemon's like, that's it! That's it, now I will show you my true, my true power! And Chuck's an even bigger space shit! Then Kirby and the Magical Rabbit are screaming! They are screaming like Goku when he goes even beyond! You mere mortals! How dare you defy me! The Pokemon said. And then you gotta start mashing! You gotta start mashing like the entire fate of the universe depends on you! Which it is. And then you go, You scream, you scream with them because the shit is just too, too epic. You break through it, you break through it. But he's still putting up a fight. He is somehow still putting up a fight. How can this be to these mere mouths? The anime blood, the anime blood. And they shout. <sighs> Kirby and the rabbit fall into the emptiness of space and time. And time. But then...
And this is why Kirby is the best anime of the year. <laughs>